Henry Ford. And that very attractive young lady there looks mighty excited, doesn't she? Well, she's got good reason to be. Her name's Kathy. She's a singer. What's more, she just won herself a capital recording contract. And that means she's headed for that big round building down there. That's called the Capitol Tower. I'd figure he'd get this job to meet the pretty girls. He's one of Capitol's A&R men. A&R for artists and repertoire. Why don't they get some pretty A&R women for us fellas? Well, it's going to be his job to take Kathy in tow and get her recording career off to a fast start. just a half a block from Hollywood and Vine. Now that's right in the middle of the entertainment universe. And you know that that's the first circular office building ever built? It's a fact. The roof up there is 150 feet off the pavement. And then the, the spire or the steeple thing there goes up 90 feet more. You can see for yourselves, they use pretty good taste in dressing up the window here. Well, what do you know? Hm. Now our first stop. The E for executive floor. Now, it's, it's really the 13th, but nobody ever calls it that. At the top of the list of people to meet is Glenn Wallace, Capitol's president and co-founder. Before helping set up Capitol in 1942, Glenn was a record dealer, so he knows the business from both ends, making records and selling them. As you can see from that smile, he's always happy to welcome a promising young artist like Kathy into the Capitol fold. And that distinguished gentleman is Jim Bayless, Vice President for Engineering and Manufacturing. Jim heads up Capitol's plants on both East and West Coast, as well as the recording studios in the Tower and in New York. Next comes a visit with Lloyd Dunn. He's Vice President for Sales and Merchandising with the help of 27 company-owned sales branches and nine independent distributors throughout the country, Lloyd and his staff will handle the sales and promotion of Kathy's albums. Here's something Kathy's really gonna enjoy. Yeah, it's time for the fountain pen now. Signing a contract. At the head of the table is Dan Bonbright, Vice President for Administration and Finance. And that's Bob Karp, who's handing Kathy the contract. He's Capital Secretary and Head of the Legal Department. Well, Kathy's all signed up now. Dan's giving her some background on Capital's place in the vast EMI family of recording companies. A family that includes such famous labels as Pathé Marconi, HMV, Odeon, Angel, and Parlophone. Well, 
Doc, it's formalities out of the way. Now, now there's time for some sightseeing up on the roof. individual album is an A&R man. His job is to work with the artist, well, like Ray Anthony here. He's selecting songs and arrangements that make for hit records. Looks like we're witnessing a slight difference of artistic opinion here. Well, let him argue it out. I'd rather be with Kathy anyhow. recording studios are the most modern in the world and the first ever designed especially for phonograph recording. They're really the last word. Well, take these movable panels, for instance. Wood on one side, fiberglass on the other, so the engineers can have the acoustics any way they want, depending on the kind of music and the size of the group of being recorded. Another thing, the studios are actually rooms inside of rooms. The floors are three inch concrete slabs built on top of two inches of cork. And the cork sits on six more inches of concrete. No outside noise or vibration is gonna get in there. I'd like to sleep in there. Oh, here. Looks like they're about ready to get started. It's all up to Kathy and the engineers. Well, here we go. Choosing the best takes, 
cutting out the flaws and the frogs and things. Oh, that tape's wonderful when they can do that. And making sure the public hears Kathy at her very best. By the way, uh, Capitol was the first major record company to record on magnetic tape. Did you know that? When they've got Kathy's tape just the way Tom likes it, they send it to one of the master recording rooms. And here, the music comes off the tape and goes on to a disc. Now, those tandem lathes you see there are cutting the masters that will eventually be used as the source for thousands and thousands of copies. It's a happy day when the masters are shipped off to the factories, but for lots of people, the job of putting out Kathy's first album is just getting started. Album covers. Of course, with Kathy, that's not a hard job. She's so pretty. Got to have a smart, eye-catching cover. Well, you know, they're in competition these days. That's where the art department comes in. They create the design. Then the photo studio takes over. Might as well mention that Capitol was a pioneer in modern cover techniques. First to use four color covers, first to process its own color, first to have its own photo department. And now here's the proof of the pudding. Not bad, is it? Of course, it helps to have a subject, as I said, like Kathy to work with. Well, the album exists. The question now is how to sell it. It takes more than a top recording, cover, and liner to make a hit. So at a meeting like this one, the master strategy is laid for merchandising Kathy's package. Well, out of such a meeting as this may come ideas for, uh, well, a special store display. The display department then goes to work and creates an attractive and forceful design that can successfully compete for window and counter space in today's crowded record stores. There, that'll do the job. That looks pretty good to me. Self-service in records is another capital first. Of course, the use of racks and fixtures to put records out where people can get at them is paid off for the entire industry. Still unique with Capital is the Display Department Store Planning Service. Through this service, Capital has helped over a thousand record stores in many different parts of the world set themselves up for efficient, self-service operation. All any record dealer has to do is send in a floor plan of his store. The Display Department will then set up a model to show the best layout of racks, counters, and checkout stands for that particular store and send the dealer a photograph of it. Well, the big day has finally arrived. There it is. A dream date with Kathy. Isn't that nice? Young lady, it's all yours.
Kathy, that about wraps it up. The person, anyway. But for other artists, A&R men, people in every part of the tower, the whole cycle's being repeated over and over. On the fifth floor, for instance, men from International and A&R are busy putting together the latest Capital of the World release. Up on 12, Leonard Penario's learning how the merchandising of his new Capital FDS Classic is being tied in to his forthcoming personal appearance tour. Down on the main floor, Angel star Maura Limpany is discussing plans for her next recording session. And in the photo studio, comedian Mickey Katz and friend are strutting their stuff for the camera's eye. He's fine fellow, Mickey. While other artists are busy getting their talents on tape, Brilliant young John Browning. And that fellow Anthony again. He must have himself a real good A&R man. Well, that's well, a lot has happened to Kathy since that first day. Hey, been some changes made. Well, I don't blame him. She's prettier than me. Get a load of that. Motor transportation's changed quite a bit, too, hasn't it? Well, so long, Kathy. Lots of luck. We'll be listening to you and your fine records. You and all the others who make music in the Capitol Tower.